Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. I have a new fountain pen to unbox with you all and I'm really excited about it. Now I did get the pen a few days ago and I peeked at it to make sure it was the right one, but I have not fully unboxed it or inked it up or anything because of course I wanted to do that when I had a chance to sit down and do it along with you all. So let's dive into it. I got a Pilot Prera. Now, the story behind this fountain pen is interesting because when I first started to get into Traveler's Notebooks and Fountain Pens back in 2015, Tokyo Pen Shop had carried uh, an assortment of fountain pens on their website, including the Pilot Prera and the Pilot Eero Prera. I forget which one, the one that's clear and a little bit more fun looking. <laughs> um, I just never I always like was too I felt too intimidated at that point and every time I saw them I just really liked how they look of course pilot pens are always a good choice pretty reliable built well not overly expensive and very common um, so I happen to be on Amazon and for those of you who don't know I live in Tennessee now and Tennessee has one weekend's and towards the end of the summer where school supplies and clothing are tax free up to a certain limit which the thing about living here is although I love it is that sales tax and everything is like 9.5 percent or something insane so it does really add up the trade-off is we don't have state income tax so I guess that's okay but I figured let me see if I can buy a fountain pen online and will it qualify for tax free and it did it worked Interestingly enough, I tried to buy an ink with this, and for some reason a bottle of ink didn't count as a school supply and was going to be taxed, so I put it in my cart for another day. But anyway, so I was excited to try a Prera. Now the price point was a lot more inexpensive than when I originally found these on Tokyo Pen Shop years ago, um, so I am a little bit excited for that because I feel like I'm able to try something that maybe before I wouldn't have been able to try because the price was higher and then plus saving on tax just made it feel like a win-win. So enough talk, let's open it up here. And so far, so good. I was concerned, you know, sometimes when you buy stuff on Amazon, you're not sure if you're going to get something authentic. I took that risk two Christmases ago when I ordered my first Sailor Fountain Pen, which I will link the video here if you want to see the unboxing and everything of it. It's been quite a while, but that fountain pen was also perfectly fine and authentic, and I'm glad that I did buy it through Amazon. So here we come. It does come in like this plastic kind of gift box so this would make a good gift. I will say I think the cost of this color and this tip was $20 maybe $21 or $22. So again a really affordable fountain pen for someone who's just maybe getting into it or they want to try something um, different and they don't want to commit to something more expensive. I feel like a pilot is a good entry point so we open it up here. Let me take out everything, and I don't think, no, there's nothing underneath, but it does have this nice case to store and display your pen in, and it is in a plastic bag, which gives you that extra safety, and here it is. I got the ivory in fine tip, and interestingly, the plastic bag is sealed, and the reason why I'm pointing that out is because you know, we've all seen videos where people kind of get duped on Amazon or clearly the fountain pen was already used or inked up and then it was returned to Amazon. Um, so having this kind of like in a sealed bag gives you that extra, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Extra assurance that your pen has not been used and it is straight from the manufacturer. So that is nice. So we're going to take our scissors here and open up the pen. Okay, so if we can get a nice cover up of it. It's just kind of like a classic looking pen. And I really like the ivory. There are other colors. I love all the colors, to be honest, but there was something about the ivory that I just wanted to try because it was kind of like neutral. And it's just a pull off cap. There is a little bit of a give when you close it here and when you open it, which is good. And I got the fine tip. I believe it had fine and medium. I think I chose fine because the last 
pilot pen I got was probably a medium, so I decided if I'm gonna, I plan on using this in my plotter, so probably a fine would be a good choice. So here it is. Let's ink it up. And we're just gonna ink it up with the black cartridge that it comes with. So it does come with a pilot proprietary black cartridge, which is great. And it also comes with a use and care guide for the fountain pen, and it's bilingual in Japanese and English. Now, chances are, if you are a fountain pen user, you might not need to use this thing, but again, the reason why I recommend something like this is it would be a great gift for someone who's kind of starting out or maybe just a little bit nervous when it comes to fountain pens. So, I always love that kind of like attention to detail. So, let's see here. Let's take the little cartridge. I do love how these are like individually wrapped. It makes me think of like a condiment packet or like a ketchup packet or something. Um, actually, we're gonna need our scissors again to cut this open. So for those of you who maybe are unfamiliar, Pilot ink cartridges are proprietary, which means you have to buy their ink cartridge. It's the way that it's made, it'll fit into the pen. Of course, you can buy a Pilot converter, which is like an empty ink cartridge that you can use and fill up with your own bottle ink from wherever. So just keep that in mind. I'm just gonna try with the cartridge. We unscrew it here. Okay. And we're just gonna put the ink in. Okay, we broke the seal, so it's gonna start flowing through to the through the nib now, and we will give it a minute or two and come back. Okay, and we're back. I have the ink in there now, and here's what it looks like when it is closed. I will take off that fine sticker, Pilot Japan, the Prera, and we're gonna open it up here. I prefer to write with things posted. It's just kind of like a habit of mine, and this looks like this does post very nicely. And I do have very large hands, as I know I've mentioned on my channel numerous times, so this is probably a really good size for pretty much anyone. Even in my big hands, it feels comfortable to hold. We'll see how it is when we write with it, but I kind of like that. So let's open up my plotter and just go to an ink testing page and just see what we can jot down and how it works on the plotter paper. I feel like this is a fountain pen that's been a long time coming. So I'm super excited to try it out. Let's see if the ink is ready to go. Not yet, of course. Let's give it another second. Okay, we finally got some ink flow happening here. It took a little bit longer than I felt like it usually does, but that's probably normal. So here is the Pilot Prera in ivory. Fine nib. This writes very smoothly on the plotter paper, which I obviously am not surprised at. And I think for me, this is definitely the right tip, the fine. I think for a smaller notebook like the plotter and the way the lines are, I feel like a medium would be a little bit too thick. So this is perfect. Very comfortable to write with. Really good lines, no bleed through I'm assuming. And yeah, it's just smooth. This is an all around good versatile choice. Yeah, this is really nice to write in my plotter. Then I, you know, if you wanna use it for the checklist pages, if you wanna sketch with it, I just, yeah, so. Enough rambling, Greg. We just wanted to show the Pilot Prera, which I feel like is a success. Now the final test will be to see if the Pilot Prera fits in a plotter pen holder, which we're not gonna be upset if it doesn't, but I'm just curious to see how that'll work. So we go to the pen loop here and moment of truth. It, it does, it does, it fits. Y'all see that? It sticks out a little bit and I'm afraid to 
push the clip down over the leather because the clip doesn't give very well, which again is a really interesting phenomenon I feel like in a lot of these pens. <clears throat> because if you put the clip over that thick plotter leather, in fact it won't even budge. It's not going to go down there. The problem I experienced with the other fountain pen I tried is when I put the clip in the leather and then when I took the fountain pen off, like right tapping right now, live on camera, it pulls the cap off and then your nib is kind of completely out there for the masses to start to leak ink and all that kind of stuff. And I do not like that, especially with something like the plotter. So now I have to be careful to try to get the, pen, the rest of the pen body out of the loop. So not a good choice to put in the plotter pen loop, but that doesn't change my mind about how much I love this, especially for a $20 range on Amazon. I mean, I feel like that is just a really good deal and an all for an all around classic looking fountain pen. And no problem because we can just go ahead and put this in my zip case in my plotter and it stores absolutely fine. So thank you so much for joining me as we unbox the plot Pilot Prera today. I really appreciate your support. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you next time. Take care.